Ready? Yo. Yo. Well, before it's trust, I have to let them know that I love them and I, I, that I'm willing to do anything they need me to do. You're swimming like you're on fire. Okay. The water's cold. That's that's. Everybody said that. The because when we first started, the water was freezing. After study hall, students jump in head first with blind faith as they conquer fear they've held most of their lives. At first, I couldn't even, I was scared of the water. <laughs> I felt horrified because it was just like so much water below me and so much water above me. I feel like I was in like one of those scary movies. <laughs> but that fear is no laughing matter. According to the USA Swimming Foundation, 64% of black children don't know how to swim, making them three to six times more likely to drown than their white peers. The more kids from the West End that we can get swimming, the more we can keep swimming alive in parts where it's dying. And that's the goal of the Ollie Stingrays program. All right, board's up. Yes, sir. My mother always says that if you want to stay in this, you got to do good. Like, school is your first priority. School first and then this. This program teaches students from Du Bois Academy and Central High School how to be great swimmers through confidence, competition, and scholarship. Your goal is one less and their coach fully understands their struggles beyond the pool to stay afloat. As much as it's my responsibility to teach them, it's their responsibility to teach me about them. And as long as I'm willing to listen and love on them and give them what they need at any given moment, and a lot of times that really has nothing to do with swimming. Coach. What's up, dude? Hey, how's this look? Do I look okay? We don't want you ruining this pretty shot. It has everything to do with helping them cope with the realities of their communities, whether it's dealing with crime, bullying, or even broken homes. For Coach T.J. Lechner, it's about restoring joy in the hearts of young people. He's nice, and he's the, he said that he's the first one to, um, to support us if we do something right, and the first one to, to correct us if we do something wrong, and I fully agree with him. You don't always have to pay attention to the bad that's happening. How about you make it good? and show people that, you, like, out of every bad thing, there's, there's some good in it. You gotta, you gotta bring that good side out. Exuding confidence and a fearlessness as big as the champ himself. To be honest, it makes me feel like I should do my best to honor him. Swimming really helped me with my feelings. Like, I can be mad the whole day and feeling sad, and once I get in the water, it just makes me feel a lot better. They're finding the courage to defy personal odds and shatter stereotypes one stroke at a time. And it just goes to show, with a little love and nurturing, fear is simply an obstacle waiting to be conquered. Like my mother says, try it and you'll like it. You never know. You just got to stick your feet in the water, literally. In Louisville, Stefan Dingle, WLKY News.